attention on camp. It is Saturday morning at summer camp where we all wake up exhausted after a long week together and reflect back on the time we've had. For instance, Cabin 25 Pi spent their last week having a great sentimental time discussing how they're going to bring virtual camp back into the real world. And they had a less sentimental time making s'mores out of three random food items around their house. Autumn's was delicious with Nutella, graham cracker, pretzel, and marshmallow. Connor's was weird with a Twinkie, peanut butter, and potato chips, but he was brave enough to eat it all. Owen made one with two goldfish, honey, and peanut butter. It's very hard to balance the goldfish together. Zach made one with cold butter, cheese crackers, and a pretzel and said the bite of cold butter was disgusting. Cabin 2007, as always, kept their theme of bees, Honda Civics, and Crazy Frog going well into their last meeting. They also did random s'mores, and one of Dan's ingredients may or may not have been a jalapeno pepper. Cabin 15 spent some time at Lake Shawanee with towels, goggles, and virtual camp backgrounds. They enjoyed a fun in the sun and virtual lifeguard training. They ended the Hapa season with a huge concert. Cabin Infinity enjoyed the summer together so much that they decided to move to California together. They had high-tech computer graphic filled superlative award ceremony. Cabin 13 each gave each other virtual gifts that surpassed time, space, Zoom barriers, and they had a legitimate Camp Schman dance party. Cabin 3.1 for all the other numbers also had a Camp Schman dance party, had a really wonderful thank you circle where the campers expressed their appreciation for one another, and they still need to drop more water on Wes's head. Cabin 12 equals 12 also had an awards ceremony, and they ended the summer as they spent it, by enjoying some spirited debate, as always. Cabin uh, had a reappearance of their camp alter egos, including evil twins, celebrities, and of course, Spider-Man. Cabin 42 never quite got over how much they loved the Chaos Machine, and they kept the Lorax theme alive all summer, and their counselors were amazed at how this unique group of kids came together to form a wonderful camp community. Cabin Quadratic Equation was still all beans all the time. Every camper shared a two-slide PowerPoint presentation on a subject of their choosing, and they received awards in categories such as cutest dog, most contributory, and most huffa e. As you can tell, we had a wonderful summer together in our cabins, but Camp It's True comes to an end, so it is time to move out. Move out announcements. Cabin 42, please row your corkle ashore, put it, your life jacket, and your oar back in the boathouse. Cabin 12 equals 12, small potted plant. Please wipe down the salad bars and wheel them back to their previous location so they're no longer in the middle of the dining hall in the shape of a T. Cabin 15, evergreen, as you depart the floating dock, Please wait until swim wreck when a lifeguard is on duty and be sure to have a buddy. Cabin 2007 Cypress, on your way out, please reconstruct my house and get rid of all the bees. Cabin 3.14 Joshua Tree, get out of the lake, get out. That's not even a spot on camp you're allowed to be in. It's too mucky. Please, take your shoes off when you get in the car. Cabin quadratic equation, monkey tree. Please return the milk crates and carefully stack them on the good old milk crate pile on the sun deck on the southeast corner of the dining hall and don't attempt to live on my face ever again. Cabin 25 dot pie Minecraft pie tree. Please sweep the porch, check around the dining hall for litter on grounds and garbage patrol. And yes, you can ring the bell. Later, when it's time to ring the bell. Not now. Cabin ah, Cool Sunny Cedar, please pack up and head out by rolling down the hill. Carefully, you just don't throw yourself down the hill. That's how you get hurt. Lie down, slowly log roll with counselor supervision. You know our hill rolling policies by now. 
Cabin 13, unlucky. You may now depart the lakeside fire ring. Up the aisles, up the aisles. Don't run, walk. Not on the benches. Please, off the benches. I know it's fun, I know it's tempting, but please, please, don't walk on the benches. <sighs> Every time. Cabin Infinity, Tree of Life, please. Clean up all the lava from Vespers Island before you leave. Vespers is a beloved and revered spot here at 4-H Camp. We can't have you leaving it covered in lava. Counselor staff! Once campers depart, you know the deal. It's time to jump right into cleaning. Please be sure all laptop lenses are wiped down and your keyboards are entirely dust free. Please return your Zoom areas to exactly how you found them. And counselors, it's been five weeks. You can now wash your Campify t-shirts. With that, we have reached the end of Saturday morning as we all depart, and there is only one thing left to do, which is to say the same thing we say at the end, as a salutation, as a farewell, at the end of every summer camp season, no matter what, which is... See you next summer. See you next summer. See you next summer. See you next summer. Wait, Ben, uh, I think we forgot something. What could we possibly have forgotten? Who won BFI?